Today, we're attempting to melt the Fortnite iceberg. Okay, we're dropping down to the iceberg right now to melt the ice, to free Aang, free his bison. You're probably wondering how on earth I'm about to do that. It, it's very simple. With one specific item, we're gonna be able to do that, and we have to use it in one specific place to melt this ice. But here's the huge issue, Team Top 5. The storm is already coming in because this iceberg is right next to the edge of the map, so we have to go quick in order for this to work. Subscribe to the channel if you want Aang to be freed. If you want the Aang skin, I love all of my fans so much. If I'm your favorite YouTuber, make sure to use code Mr. Top 5 in the item shop. But Team Top 5, before I show you how to apparently melt the ice, all we are going to do in replay mode is attempt to glitch inside of the iceberg. You can see Aang, and this looks insane. You can see the bison, and all we are about to do is phase inside of this ball and see the skin we are about to unlock. There are rumors that this bison is going to be the new clombo. I don't know if this is real. I don't know if this is fake, but we are getting very close. And apparently we're about to phase inside if it lets us in. If this doesn't work, we're also going to glitch under the map and try to go under. Three, two, one. It literally does not let us through. So why don't we just glitch under the map? And the way to do that, all you have to do, Team Top 5, is go all the way to the edge of the map just like this. Go under, and as you can see, we are now fully under the map. Now once we go back up, as you can see super easily, we are fully under the map. So now let's just head back to the iceberg, go from under, and let's glitch inside. Will this work? I have no idea, but I'm doing this for you guys, so please subscribe. Okay, we are now at the iceberg, and all we are about to do is try to go from the bottom and... Wait a minute. I see openings. No matter where I go, it just won't let me through. And I am now stuck inside of the iceberg. Fortnite clearly doesn't want us seeing it. But what if we use one Fortnite item that literally apparently can melt the ice? A brand new item. Okay, guys, all we have to do is look through every single chest for one of the brand new items in order for this to work. I got a comment saying that if you shoot it in one specific place, you're going to be able to melt the ice. I'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We have a minute and 13 seconds until the storm comes in. All right, another chest right here. Come on, we don't have much time. There's even more chests all the way around here, and all we're gonna do is go on this jump pad, go to the top because there's an exotic chest we might be able to get it right here guys we are running out of time we don't have literally more than a minute to do this come on exotic chest please okay we got a legendary but that is not what we wanted but there's more chests all the way over here so let's just jump on down guys we are literally running out of time we got a golden banana but that's still not what we need there's literally one more chest one final chance in order to get the item to melt this ice and free Aang. I have no idea if this is real. I have no idea if this is about to work, but let's find out. Come on, please. And let's go. We just got the water bending mythic item. And apparently, Team Top 5, if we shoot this in one specific place, there is a way to melt this ice. I'm about to bust this or prove it real. And this is just one of many myths we're testing in Fortnite Season 2. As you can see, Aang is right down there. His bison is literally trapped. This is coming to Fortnite on April 12th. But apparently, all you have to do is activate the water bending. If you shoot at the top of this ice long enough, with the water bending for some reason it'll actually melt the ice it doesn't sound like it'll make sense but apparently that's the reason fortnite only added water bending early so guys let's make a deal you have to subscribe to the channel if this works so all we're gonna do is just start shooting the ice and now we're gonna reload and we're literally just going to keep on going this mythic is literally so overpowered guys we're gonna do this for like long as we possibly can we're gonna see what happens and this is only myth number one Guys, I think we have been completely fooled, but please subscribe to the channel anyways. Apparently, we have the first glitch of the season that allows us to go under the map. All you have to do is go to Reckless Railways, which is odd enough because this is not a new location. This is far from new, and all you have to do, head on to this exact spot, and then simply break this floor right here. And as you can see, there is a little spot right here that you can just hide inside of the entire 
entire game and no one will ever see you. You can't break the floor. You can't break the walls. This is so overpowered for hiding. That myth is confirmed. How to get the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 FOV glitch. Look how zoomed out he is. He can literally see everyone. This is so overpowered for getting wins. But how do you do it? And when will Fortnite break it? I mean, patch it. Okay, all you need is the Icarus Wings. Then the first thing you have to do is glide without using your keys, without using your controller or whatever. Basically, you just glide without clicking any keys whatsoever. And then what? What do you do? Press W at the same time that you land, and apparently you will literally just... Oh my gosh, that is insane. And once you de-equip the wings, look how zoomed out you are. That is confirmed. Fortnite Season 2 skin glitch. What is this? Network connection lost. There was an error. And wait a minute, he just got Lachlan, he got Mr. Beast, he got Ninja, he got Loser Fruit, Travis Scott. Literally every single icon skin. Hold on. Okay, what is he doing? So he goes to the shop tab and then he... Okay, he hits got it, he refreshes it, and now what is he doing? He goes to support a creator, and he types in this really weird code. Guys, don't do this until I see if it's real or fake, because this could be someone just trying to scam and get creator codes. Okay, and he hits search, and then he hits refresh once again. There was an error. So it says there's an error, and then he gets a bunch of icon skins for free. Real or fake? I have no idea. Let's find out. Okay, we're in the shop right now. Shop refresh info. Let's hit got it. And now let's put in his creator code, UDV. Let's hit search. And there it is. And now all we do, we hit cancel. We hit refresh again. Guys, if this does not work, do not use that code. Okay, we hit got it. And nothing happened, guys. Do not use this code. That is a scam. That myth is busted. But what code you should use is code MrTop5 if I'm your favorite YouTuber. Thank you very much. What happens if two players use the Thunderbolt of Zeus at the exact same time? Lox, how is this going to go, dude? I'm going to get the victory royale. No, I think I'm going to get the victory royale, buddy boy. All right, okay. let's see how this works. Stand back. Okay, are we doing this on one or are we doing this on go? On go. All right, who's doing the countdown, me or you? You do it. All right, three, two, one, go! Oh my! Oh. What? I won! I pressed it before you! That... Actually, we were at the exact same time. That is insane. Myth confirmed? I don't even know what I just confirmed. Apparently, if you subscribe with the notifications, you'll put a huge smile on my face. Please subscribe right now. Can we make this boss fight this boss because they are right next to each other? All we're going to do is go inside Mount Olympus. We're going to aggravate the boss here, head on back down to the other location, and see if this boss here follows me and fights the other boss. This is going to be insane and this has never been done before all right all we're gonna do is challenge zeus in three two one okay zeus where are you there you are all right all we're gonna do now is just aggravate him come on oh, oh my gosh okay all right now that zeus is extremely mad we're gonna slowly start making our way over to the other location and we're gonna see if zeus somehow with a crazy glitch will be able to follow me Okay, I don't know if he's following me quite yet, but all we're gonna do is go down to the battleground, which is only 300 meters away, challenge the next boss, and see if we can get them together. Okay, we're now at the next location, and as you can see, the boss tags and everything from the top are completely gone. We're gonna find a way to get them back, but the first thing we're gonna have to do, head on into this location, challenge this boss too, and see if we can get them together. Okay, we challenge Zeus. Now we're gonna challenge Harry. All right, where is he? Oh my gosh, there are so many minions everywhere. We have to eliminate all of them, but now what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back over to the original location so we can get Aries right next to me. We're gonna get him to follow me. Apparently, this is going to work. Apparently, it doesn't work when Zeus tries to follow Hades, but it will work when Hades follows Zeus. And what will happen when they fight each other? This is going to be the most game-breaking thing ever. Subscribe to the channel to join Team Top 5. All right, goodbye to you. Where are all of these men? Oh, all right, there he is. Now what we're gonna do is attack him and let's head on over. Oh my gosh, I have 31 health. Okay, come on, Ares. Follow my lead, buddy. 
Follow my lead, Aries. Don't eliminate me, dude. Don't eliminate me. All we have to do is head straight on over to the circle. As you can see, Aries is fully following me out of the storm, which is good. He's leaving his location. And then all of a sudden, he stops. He stays in his home base. These bosses don't want to meet each other. That myth is busted. He's going completely back to where he came from. Apparently, if you wear the Hades skin and you wear this exact style, if you go and attack the boss, he will literally be friendly because he thinks he's himself i don't know if this is real i don't know how this is possible and some insane things happen he turns friendly we're gonna bust this we're gonna see if this is real we're gonna see if this is jake for you guys team top five make sure to subscribe okay all we have to do is go to the underworld right now as hades the literal boss and all we're gonna do is challenge him right now apparently when we challenge him it just won't do anything he'll spawn and then he just won't attack but let's see if this is real in three two one challenge hades okay let's see what happens where the heck is he so the minions still will attack me but Hades will not. All right, so all we're gonna do is go eliminate the minions because they know I'm not real, but apparently it fools Hades himself. Let's see what actually happens. All we're gonna do is get a bunch of guns, eliminate every single one of these minions, and then let's go talk to Hades. Look at him, he's right over there. I don't wanna attack him. Look, he's not even shooting me. He's not doing anything. I don't know if this is going to stay the same. Eliminate all of the minions. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Okay, so far so good. Nothing is happening. We still have a few more minions and Hades is just sitting there. But I am very curious to see what happens after we eliminate all of them. If Hades will just be friendly because I am one of him. There is only one way to find out, all right? Goodbye to you. There's only one more minion left to go. And let's see what happens. Okay, now it's going to say defeat Hades. Let's go up to him right now. And apparently he's now friendly. Let's see. Oh, nothing even happened. Nothing even happened. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that myth is busted. If I build all the way to max height and I use Zeus's Thunderbolt after jumping off the ledge, does it prevent fall damage? And I'm going to use Zeus's Thunderbolt at the last second before hitting the ground. This has never been done before, and we're going to see if this can save you if you're about to get eliminated from fall damage and you need a way out at the last second. Let's keep on building up until we are fully in the sky. We are so far off the ground already. But let's keep on going until we are literally at max out height. This is going to be game breaking if this works. All right, let's keep on going. I am so excited. Keep on going. All right, we are just about at max height. Okay, we are now at max height. And we are about to do this. Oh, the ground looks so far away. Three, two, one one jump and at the last second three two one let's see it let's see it save my life please oh my gosh it completely prevented fall damage that myth is confirmed this llama is 230 meters away but can the thunderbolt of zeus hit it three two one let's find out Oh my gosh, it literally did. But will Zeus's Mythic hit a player from over 400 meters away? Okay, Lox, are you at the statue thing? The, the two swords? I'm at the two swords. All right, all I'm gonna do is three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You just broke my builds. You just broke my builds. You broke... You knocked me down, so technically it reached. That's almost 500 meters. How far does this thing go? Okay, we are now 655 meters away. Lux, are we gonna be able to pull this off? I don't think so. All right, I am very nervous. Three, two, one, and shoot it! Oh. Oh, dude, that's close. But you're like... I want to say you're like 52 meters where it ends. So do I have to aim up even more? A little, little bit more, I think. Try it again. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there, there, there's, there's a distance. 
About 52 meters away, it stops. And we're exactly 652 meters away, meaning the max distance must be 600. Did that come close to you? That's pretty close. 600 seems to be the max. And you glitch past the border and go to Spawn Island with the wing. Launch in the air and let's start ascending all the way towards Spawn Island and let's see what happens when we reach the border. This has never been done before. What happened? Oh, we're literally stuck in the border and we haven't even made it close to the area yet. That myth is busted. The Titan Hand is now on the ground. Pandora's box is closed. We have this crazy goo. Apparently, the entire Titan is now under the map. First, we're going to see what's inside of Pandora's box, if there's some new crazy thing added, and then we're also going to see what is under the map where this Titan is. Because obviously, we have the hand itself and connected to the hand should be an entire titan under the map according to the leaks. All we have to do is go to the edge of the map just like this, completely go under, and as you can see, once we come back, we're gonna be fully under. Where is this titan? Let's find out. We are now under. What clues does this season two map under hold for us? Right under the hand is here, and I definitely see something under the map that I have not seen before. Hold on. We're gonna go to this location right now. Okay, I'm not seeing a Titan, but what is inside of Pandora's box? Three, two, one. We're going straight inside of it. Okay, you can fully see inside and there's nothing there. That myth is busted.